Well, that track's, uh, what's it? Scraps in the bowl. And before we had that piece of crap from that band. That the, oh, hang on a minute, they're in the building. <laughs> Right. Oh, I'll tell you what. Messed up there, lads. I've not changed the name on there. Right. Let's let's get this uh, let's get this party started. <laughs> this is going to be great. I've still got the last interviewee's name on. Uh, so it's not Sylvie, people. Sylvie, introduce yourself, guys. Hi, uh, we're Pashad's Wu. <laughs> well, our names individually. Are we allowed to swear? You can't fucking swear on this month's show. Keep it clean. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> right, yeah. uh, do we have to introduce our own names or what? No, no. Well, you, you can do that in a minute, but it was just just the, the name of the band, really. Uh, Perchad's... It, it's an interesting name, isn't it? What, where does that come from, then? What's what's the origins of that? Jersey yeah. French. It's Jersey French. It's, it's, my, it's one of the oldest uh, uh, surnames in Jersey. Apparently. Right. That's my last name. Uh, as well, it's just kind of the whatever, but it's not really a solo project, it's more about these guys, really. It actually to... comes from uh COVID, where we weren't actually allowed two meters within, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the, that was the, the, the story, first kind yeah. of jam we had was over over Perchard's wall. Oh, yeah. got it. Well, I think he's in Perchard's wall now because can't even see him, so yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to get him in. We like it. Was it... Well, I'm having a bad hair days. Um, well, I've noticed that, mate. Stay out, stay out of shot. Right. I'd, I'd, we've, we've tra- <laughs> Thanks for giving us your exclusive of your track and from uh, brilliant Bubble Brain Records that you signed with. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, that track is banging. I did say before I played it might be a load of crap, but I knew it wouldn't be because Janice wouldn't put anything on the show that's crap. Hey, back, what, what I said, and hopefully you won't take offence to this, I was listening to that track and I was like, Oh, it's got a bit of a Beatles twang to this, especially near the yeah. end. You could actually go from your track into a Beatles track seamlessly without even noticing. You know what I mean? It's awesome. So I hope you don't take offence to that because I know you're rock and roll. But, but did, did they we're massive use... Beatles fans. So. Yeah, but beautiful did lads. Did they use auto-tune to achieve that? I don't think so. We? we did have to use auto-tune. <laughs> we can't sing those kind of harmonies. <laughs> hey, don't spoil the illusion. Don't spoil the illusion. And, and just, just in case, we've got Lele Records on there in Guernsey, and I believe there's a massive rivalry between Guernsey and Jersey. Oh, no, we love that. We love well, he says he hates. He says it's a big rivalry, and I think he's a, I, he's a friend of mine, but I think he's been a bit of a knob. Because yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I, sounds about right, yeah. they say this, but they love us. Really. Yeah, they do. I mean, I'm, well, if they're fed of them ultimately as well, so <laughs> there must yeah, there must be another group of people you hate more than each other. You know, it might be the French, could be the Ing mainlanders, us over here. You know what I mean? Could be anything. I mean, the west of the island. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the west of the island. East, you know what I mean? Like east side is the best. You know, so <laughs> east yeah. is beast. Yeah, well, I. I'm looking forward to the Jersey Rolls hitting the shots because they're, they're just the dog's bollocks. Them, I love them. Why is girlfriend yeah. to sell you some? They're awesome. <laughs> Brilliant, yeah. right? Uh, they are good. They used to be better. They, they've been a bit of... They're over, I think they're over-commercialised. You know? Yeah. They're a bit like Cornish pasty, you know? They're like... You can't... You know, they should really only be called Jersey Royals if they're in Jersey, I would have said. Correct, they, or if they come from, because sometimes you get them, they've probably been made in some, I don't know, some backyard in uh, uh, Glasgow or some family, and they just send them down. Said, they, are, well, they, they are all from here, but they get it's kind of weird. Like when we buy them in the shops, a lot of them get kind of sent to England and then repackaged and then sent back to Germany. <laughs> absolutely but i, I mean this, this is a music show but it's all the current affairs that we're uh going on so uh, gallagher's greens on he said the first question can we swear legends so oh someone's, <laughs> someone's at the front door yeah, I, who's that because you have a fucking you're a good place in the heart yeah <laughs> anyway uh, how, long, how long how long pardon we allowed to be drunk. No. You can drink. You can smoke cannabis. I don't really care, mate. What you do there, it's not a problem. It's not. A, you know what I mean? Get a, get a line going. I'm not bothered. I'm not drinking tonight because I'm driving it morning. So, uh, but yeah, of course you can drink. God, it's a mu- it's a rock and roll show, isn't it? Yeah, look, we're in, we're actually in our band room, so I, I could give it. 
Do they see this? Is it is it TV or is it radio? Yeah, of course it's TV. That's the, yeah, of course it's can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bam room. Nah, nice. Yeah, I'm liking it. So, yeah. yeah we're just about well, we we kind of meant to be practicing tonight, so it's kind of good you got all four. Well, I don't know if it's good or bad you got all four of us and make the decision, but I think yeah. it's I think it's awesome. So how long you been together? Uh for, since yeah, like we can't I guess in, we started Jan I came back from Australia during the whole uh the big C words ha was happening and then the kind of started jamming around then. So what was that twenty twenty, yeah, four four years, right? Um yeah. Four I was years. Traveling. Uh, South America and that's got cool. back. That's cool, like. <laughs> cool, got cool, back, cool dude, like. Got back and I had it. Well, I was, I was supposed to be in the original band, but then I was like traveling with my <laughs> my ex-wife. Like, not ex-wife, but like, you know, someone that I just don't talk about anymore. Yeah. And, right. Uh, <laughs> I, I, so, can, I can feel a song coming on. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. His old ex-wife. <laughs> <God, really? laughs> <laughs> so they're like, oh no, you need to join the band, man. We were in a band called Peace Lips. No, that's not actually how it happened. It's actually we couldn't find any other drummer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the the limit. I, the... <laughs> I've been begging him for. Oh, yeah, actually, no, you have been pestering me for years to join the band. <laughs> that was Peace Lips. Yeah, yeah. We were But we were like, oh, we were all kind of in a band. We we used to do like a load of uh, the band Cream. We used to kind of do loads of Cream covers oh, yeah. at pubs. Just doing like old kind of like sixties psychedelic blues kind of shit, and then we yeah then we and then me and Greg kind of start jamming during the kind of COVID days as lame as that sounds, uh, and then we had uh, our friend Lucas who was on drums who was actually the guy who uh, recorded the out uh, the EP with us so you know it's still it's all friends it's Jersey yeah it's like a gotta remember it's a bit like Royston Valley or something you know? it's like a small place you know? individually so, I actually. Pestered all of them to right. try and get in each band. Does that mean when you describe yourself as a pester? Yeah, yeah I'm a pester. <laughs> and they're like, go on, let's give them a go. Jesus, let's just, let's just, just do it and just stop pestering us. Might as well be here. But yeah, from the vibe. Well, the vibe I'm getting, you lot have a giggle together. You look like you have a giggle together. And, and that, for me, is what it's all about. Enjoy what you're doing as well as producing great music. Um, what. Janice is asking because she wants the sensible questions now. She's not interested in Jersey Rolls. When are the when's the EP out? Uh, the twenty sixth of April. That's uh, it's on my birthday. Oh, that's so lovely. Yeah, I was. It was kind of a better idea than going out for like a meal with my family and shit. So I was like, well, might as well entertain people um, and do a little EP launch. And so we're doing a gig in our local capital city of St Helier. Um, nice. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. It's uh, in the pure uh, vein of making a little bit of cash to record another project. We are we're doing like a big two and a half hour show, pretty much all our own music. So it's something to that's why we're in the brand practice room right now. We're kind of getting ready for it, getting set to go, and then um, yeah, that's that's it. EP launch. Excellent. So you you yeah. doing the EP live then? Are you? Is that what you're doing? Are you releasing the track the tracks? What are you doing? Um, we're gonna well, we're gonna like it's, it'll be on Spotify. It, well, I, I kind of doesn't really make much sense because I would have thought we could probably should have done it like before, so people could have listened to our EP and then come to our gig. But it's actually we're gonna be playing the EP live as it's being released. So if you wanted to come and watch us and put on headphones, you could actually do them both at the same time. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Do you want to come? I've got somewhere for you to stay. So, See, more than one. what a great guy! What a great guy! More than them, <laughs> more than them. They've told us that you know, in uh, Gallagher's Green, not Gallagher's Green, I keep calling them, mix them up, Coastal Fire Department. Yeah, no, they have. They're, they're going to be they're flying over for Dougie Fest, so that's going to be cool. Well, yeah, they're, 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 they're from Guernsey, aren't they? Coastal Fire Department, yeah, yeah, they are, yeah, yeah, yeah they are, they, they, they are, and uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be playing our we've got a festival that we have here which was only originally going to be four bands. We did it last year. We ended up with six, six, I think. Uh, and this year, uh, for some unknown reason, we've got nine bands going to be playing here. Over Whereabouts here for you guys? Uh, we're in the Midlands. I'm in the Midlands. Co near Coventry, I am in the Midlands. I'm from oh, Manchester, oh, oh. but I live near Coventry. So, um, yeah, it's going to be good. So that'll live stream on Mixcloud so people can come watch that. Um, awesome. Yeah, brilliant. 
Brilliant. So what have you done? Where are you recording the um, the EP? In your band room, or are you going to a recording studio? Well, we've already recorded an EP. It was actually just that, well, we were in a, a parish called St. Martin's. There's 12 parishes in Jersey. Than, yeah. We just went down the road and recorded in our friend's little studio. Um, but we want to record. I think we want to come to England to do a bit of recording next, I think. You know, get like um, a more... We're quite limited over here, you know. There's not many people that are doing. It's more DIY. Isn't yeah, it? it's a little bit more DIY. We're having to. It's, it's it's good, but we kind of want to go for a bit more of a polished sound on our next release and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so I think you know we, we that all requ- especially come from Jer- even just the flights alone requires a bit of money and. You know, oh so- yeah, for sure. You see, everything costs money, and that's that's the trouble in it. You catch twenty two. Do you spend the money to do stuff? You know, how do you fund that? Because a lot was, I mean, I'm, I was doing this all the time, but I've last few months I've been working and just building a bit of funds up to f- afford to buy more equipment and stuff. So, and then it means you've got less time to focus on your craft that you want to do, like these interviews and the shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a bit of a balancing act, but uh, hopefully it'll all slot together. Uh, oh, here we go. Lele Records from Guernsey. They're saying, um, what is the best parish in Jersey? Sark. <laughs> <laughs> Means no, nothing to us. It's definitely St. Martin. That's what we are yeah. now, St. Martin. Yeah, we are St. Martin. Right. So. This, this is... So that's from that garbage band based in Jersey. Oh, sorry, the back up. Hey, wait. That is brilliant, isn't it? Brilliant. Thanks. I'm glad you're back. Yeah, oh, thanks. I'm out of breath. There's fucking Wi Fi there, man. I know. Someone put, <laughs> put 50p in the meter. That's what we need. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Brilliant, lads. Brilliant. I forget what was going on about now, but we had to play that track again. I forgot where we was up to. We was talking about something, and then we and then we lost you. Can you remember? The smelly. Uh, we got asked how smelly the. Show oh, was. that was it. How smelly is that? that recording studio right now, full of blokes. You see. Yeah, it's yeah. good. To be fair, it was a lot worse in the summertime. We haven't really got any form of ventilation or windows. Oh, yeah. nightmare. Yeah, I could so, do with that. Yeah, but it never really smell. I think we've got like nice smelling sweat. Excuse me, what's the replay? I smell. This yeah. guy smells. I smell. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm just saying, that is like it's bad smell. You are ginger. No, you like my sweat, it like stains stuff green. It's like, it's fun. Oh, man. That's all we need. Didn't I? I've not had my tea yet. Uh, right. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. What's all? Uh, Oh, well, it's got no problem, Madeira. We have proper internet. Oh, here we go. Me, she's at it, at it again as well. Uh, someone said, "How do they cope with their crazy schedule and hustle lifestyle due to performances, constant work, and tours?" What's he got? That's from Eddie. That. Uh, yeah. How do you <laughs> cope with your your busy schedule? Someone's asking anyway. Uh, Not very well. I don't know. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is our main hobby, like between yeah. all of us. Personally, really, so. personally, I don't know what gig there is until, <laughs> until is the true. day before. And they're like, "Yeah, you've got a gig." I'm like, "Oh, all right, okay." That, that's probably yeah. deliberate, mate, because I'm picking the vibes up. They probably deliberately keep you out of the loop because you'll be like, when's this gig? When's this gig? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know. I can see it. I can see it. I, can... <laughs> I, 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 in the, uh, I don't know. We've been, I mean, it's not really that hard. We've been, we don't have like loads of stuff going on. It's not like we can really... Tr- the thing we've got this year, we've got a lot of traveling. We're doing probably more gigs outside of Jersey than we are in Jersey. So there's kind of like boats and flights a lot of... What well, sounds really cool, but it's not like no. it kind of sounds like we're going international, but it's really just getting between the two islands or three islands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. It makes us feel like we're rock and roll but without really leaving our vicinity. You know, it's, so uh, do, do you do a lot on social media? Do you have any like reels or TikTok or anything I like that? We, we've started Dabbling. becoming a bit. We, I guess we've always prized the stuff as more of like a live band. We do a lot of jamming, and we kind of get into the realm of like. Okay, we'll record one single. What is Esperanza to try and like? At least we can they can play it on radio because it's three minutes long. Um, but yeah, we we kind of get into the realm of social media. Like Greg's doing it. He's kind of a bit of a crash course in the social media. Yeah, it's really hard to be fair. Jim, Jim <laughs> from um, Bubble Grains helping us out quite a lot. God. Yeah, we're all 
we're all kind of like like just a bit useless with uh, technology to be fair yeah. other than our instruments you know <laughs> this so, this uh, is the trouble with people that are creative a lot of the time my wife's a designer and she doesn't do any social media it's like you've got to I think yeah. the the, be, the the best advice I can give you is start doing things, even the mundane things that you don't think like just a bit behind the scenes, but don't make it dead long. Chop some of it up and make it little snappy bits. Get some background yeah. music on, on your TikTok or whatever. Uh, I mean, I'm doing one at the minute. I do I do some van driving as a bit of a job and I, 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 I drive it for hire, so check that out on TikTok. And I've done one today and it's just bits and bobs from the day. And then my wife's like, is anyone going to watch that? I went, yeah, so I've only I've only just started it the last couple of months. I said I've got all my videos get a few hundred to a thousand views, three thousand, whatever. It depends. So yeah, I think you just got to start off with that and get some good um, hashtags in, and maybe you'll get people in tuning in. You know, daft daft stuff. Check out what they do. Coastal Fire Department. He he has uh, Oz is an absolute scream, and they talk about his favourite snare drum and and daft things because he's got about thirty of them, and every one's his favourite snare drum. Do you know what I mean? Daft things like that. Just find something. And... Snare drum is literally. I've got a crack in it, and I've just uh, <laughs> I've just sellotaped it over, and it sounds it's uh, it, it does sound good. so good. <laughs> well, there I'm you like... go, there you go. That'd make a great video. Look at this. Shh, this is what we've done. <laughs> Leave it in Sark for almost a year when you, yeah, that's a lot. That's another story. Yeah, that's another story. That's yeah. another story. But, um, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I suppose people should follow us on Facebook and Instagram, right? Yeah, we're not really yet doing in TikTok. I don't know, I, I don't really know anything about it. I just see it. We're kind of in that weird, what? What do you mean? We're, we're really I just know. Like, I feel we're like in the. We just want to keep the focus on like our actual music and writing. Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. I'll just get someone else to do it for you. But you, I, I believe me. You need, you need to do something because otherwise, people don't know you're there, and that's why we do this, this on the show. Um, yeah. There, there should be other people going. Oh. Yeah, I'll go and check them out and see what they're about. And that it's just those little snippets that all build up. Uh, before I let you go in a, in, in, a, in a minute, can one of you, because if you all do it, I'll go to cock, can you just say, this is announce your band's name and you're listening to Dougie Stone Radio and Eddie will make a jingle for it for us. Well, so, right now? Yes. Yeah, one of you. Just one of you. Do it right now. Band name uh, and you're listening to Dougie yeah, Stone Radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Per Shard's Wall, and you're listening to Dougie Stone Radio. Soik! Perfect. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie yeah. will be all over that now. That's wonderful. So, <laughs> where, where do people need to find you? What do they need to look for? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, we're on, I guess we're on Facebook and Instagram, um, because they're the only things we kind of understand as today. Um, and then we are, we kind of, we, we're in the process of setting up a Channel Islands World Tour. So we're going to, well, the guys in Coastal Fire Department can come and watch us. We're doing like a bit of a, bit of a Channel Islands tour over the whole summer. <laughs> and then we are, we, we, we are playing, I, I, I think we can announce it. I don't know what, Jim from Bubble Brain has kind of, I don't know if, yeah, we are. We're playing in Brighton in May time. And they still. Um, and then on the Friday, as part, well, it's a great escape, but it's part of the alternative escape. Um, we're not good enough for the great escape, probably. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's, it's, I actually, I lived in Brighton. It, the alternative escape's normally better than the actual festival itself. But, Excellent. And then May the 17th, and then May the 18th, we're going to play in Hastings. Yeah. And we might go and play in France at some point. Well, you uh, might as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, might, you might as well go and invade them. But that's brilliant. The Channel Islands World Tour, it's a bit like when you, when when they do the American football, the World Cup of American football, whatever, whatever they want to call it. It's just America. It's not the world yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, bit like, it's a bit like aliens, you know. The, the, the alien map of the world must just be the States because that's the only place you see UFOs, yeah. isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, all, the, yeah. all the films about aliens are all made in America. I know. So, they think it's yeah. the centre of the world. Goons, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I'm going to get back on with the show. Is anything I've not asked you what to talk about or get out there or you know what I mean? Is anything you want to say? Um, twenty sixth of April at Blue Note in Jersey. If you want to get flights, <laughs> delve into this shit because it's awesome. <laughs> and we are mostly ad lib. We go for it. 
two and a half hours, <laughs> amazing set. You will never, ever, ever be a gig like you witnessed that time in your life. I swear on my life. <laughs> so, that's, that's well, there you go, people. Trust him. <laughs> Trust him. Yeah. And EP's out 26 as well. <laughs> yeah. Spotify, Our EP's out. Camp, we might right. see you, might not. Excellent. Well, keep in touch. If you want to drop us little videos for Janice or to the show, we put we like we do at the start of the show. We play uh, little videos from bands when they've got gigs on or EPs or whatever, and it just adds to it. But it's been an absolute blooming pleasure talking talk to you guys. I think uh, you're a gig, you're, so you're a giggle. Stuff. Music's fab, and just keep rocking it. And uh, thanks for coming on the show. And th thanks for giving us your time. We appreciate it. What's your space, by the way? I'm telling you now. We're going to be the best ever. I've been saying that for five, six years on this Watch This Space. And I've, yeah, there you go. It's just like, uh, do you know what I mean? Nothing. <laughs> nothingness blowing through. Yeah. Tumbleweed. That's, so, the, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> tumbleweed. Right. This has been another Introducing People, sponsored by MI Storage. And that what a great band. Go and check them out. They'll be all over the place. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing your progress. Until next time. Thanks very much. Thank you guys. Wonderful, wonderful. Thanks, lads. Well, weren't they good?